For 50 years, Peace Corps volunteers have been our ambassadors to the world. They are often the first American in their host community and the first American that many have ever met. They share their generosity, creativity, and skills in ways that change lives and deepen understanding across cultures. My name is Jeff, and I served in Morocco from 1995 to 1997. My name is Jean, and I served in Zaire, which is now Congo, from 1981 to 83. My name is Monica, and I served in Bangladesh from 2002 to 2004. My name is Craig, and I served from 1980 to 82 in Zaire, which is now Democratic Republic of the Congo. My name is Jacqueline, and I was in Morocco from 1993 to 1996. I was an English teacher at uh, the university level in an English department. I was a teacher of TEFL, which is teaching English as a foreign language in a secondary school. I was an English teacher at both the high school and university levels. I taught English at the university level in El Jadida. I was a community development volunteer. I think there was a, a lot of mutual respect and affection and this was with people who had never met an American before and it was certainly my first time in an Arab country, in a Muslim country. And for me it has been a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to get to know people from other parts of the country and to um, experience their experiences. Murphy's Law will definitely apply, <laughs> that things will go wrong. Um, they absolutely will go wrong. They will not go as you expect them to go, but that can still be okay. Peace Corps changed my life forever, and I'm sure uh, most volunteers feel this way. Um, it was just a mind-opening experience. It, uh, it taught me a lot about being non-judgmental and creative and flexible, and it really taught me a lot about the Muslim world, which was something that I wasn't exposed to before I went to Bangladesh. Having that Peace Corps experience is just been uh, crucial uh, t to helping me in my career. Um, it just taught me that um, no matter what you want and when you want it, you can really do it if you really try and put your mind to it. And even when you don't think you're accomplishing anything, you are still accomplishing something. Um. I think all are necessary. Um, I think the one I have least of is the strong stomach. I really don't. Um, and so I suffered a little bit there. Um. <laughs> well, because uh, depending on where you go, you might get giardia, you might get uh, dysentery, you might feel homesick. So you definitely need to have a physically good stomach before you can just die on your own in your pose before you can get to the medical office back in the capital. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> a level head. <laughs> I'm not sure if I had a level head when I was there. I can't say that I personally needed a good back except to lug my luggage. I took far too much luggage with me because I really did, despite what they told me, believe that I was going to the back of beyond. Well, I, th I think it's important to have a, a big heart because you're 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 meeting people uh, you're in a different culture and meeting all kinds of people and it's just important to uh, seek to uh, understand others and, and from other people's point of view so you're going to get all this warmth and affection from the people that you're with and you have to be able to, to return that in spades I know that as I explore myself and I become more aware of myself and my surroundings that you know, I will have a greater sense of becoming the uh, humanitarian that I believe that I was meant to be. I'll, ne you know, I'll never be able to have an experience like that ever again in my life. It's the kind of thing that will never, ever, ever be repeated. On behalf of the State Department and USAID, I would like to thank all Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, for your commitment to peace and friendship. Happy birthday, Peace Corps! <laughs> <laughs>